So I'm going to make an alien here. And what I would recommend doing, instead of just starting with the sphere and going from there, I'm actually going to build the basic model with the edit, edit mode. OK, so let's see what I can do here. Um, I kind of have an alien design in mind. By the way, with the extrude key, if you press E, then you can press a number. So in this case, I'm going to push 2, and that will extend it 2 units. I don't know if you can tell, but it is lining up with the grid up there. Okay. Now I'm going to press E again, and 1, E, 2, E, 1. Okay. You'll see what I'm doing here in a sec. Okay, let's uh, go E2, E2. So I'm just building a basic structure of my alien. All right, so that's going to be the legs. And actually, maybe I'll just uh, make some feet here. OK, something like that. All right, and actually, I, I like robots, or not robots, aliens with backwards legs. I think that looks kind of cool. OK, kind of like, uh, like a bird, OK? All right, so let's, uh, let's make the body here quick. OK, so I'm just extruding and scaling. All right, and then let's, uh, let's just make some arms. And I'm going to use my numbers as well. So E2, E1, E2, and let's go at E1. Oops. All right, and last but not least, let's add a head. Okay, and I'm thinking some kind of uh, some kind of cat-like alien would be cool. So I'm just going to subdivide this. Let's do that a couple times. Um, maybe add some cat-like ears. Maybe some kind of snout. Actually, it looks more like a dog, like Anubis, the uh, Egyptian god. OK, let's add some fingers here quick. Oops. OK, and a thumb. All right, let's do the other hand. I'm just subdividing a few times to get some fingers out here. I'm just extruding one unit. All right, starting to shape up a bit. All right, I'm just going to uh, you know, puff out the chest a little bit. There we go. All right, so I've got a very basic model. Um, another thing I want to do is set the origin point. This will be important later. So I've just pressed spacebar, typed in origin, and I'm going to set origin, origin to geometry. Okay, so you can see that it used to be on the leg, now it's in the middle. Okay, I'll explain that, why I did that in a bit. All right. Now the next step is to get it ready for sculpt mode. So I've got a, a good basic shape to work with. I want to click on the wrench, add a multi-resolution modifier, and I'm going to subdivide this, let's say, four times. Okay, You can experiment with the number of subdivisions. The more you have, the higher detail it'll be. However, these computers probably can't handle more than about four. You could maybe try five, but that's pushing it. Okay. And the next step, let's just, okay, so I've hit that about four times, um, and then I want to hit apply. All right, now we're ready for sculpt mode. We can do a few things to clean up the work area. So one thing I recommend is if you hit N, and under display, we can say only render. That'll get rid of a lot of these grid lines and the camera and all that stuff. We can also press T. OK, and then there is one more hotkey. All right, and shift space will hide 
the rest of the stuff. Okay, you can also press T to toggle your toolbar on and off. Um, and I want to go to sculpt mode. Okay, so one cool thing that I can do, because I've set my origin point to the center of this guy, is if I go to symmetry, I can turn on X mirror, and I'm just going to bring my strength a bit down. And you can see that I can add stuff on one side, it'll add it to the other side. See that? So it makes it very easy to model a symmetrical guy. Um, and actually, one more thing, back in object mode, I'm going to turn shading to smooth. OK, so I kind of like the idea of making this into that uh, Egyptian god Anubis, if you, got, you know what I mean? With like that jackal head. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to add some, some muscles to him. Just going to kind of free form, you know, add some pecs here. Okay, I'm just kind of fooling around here. Let's build up that back. This guy's been doing a lot of uh, a lot of deadlifts, right? Okay, so your alien doesn't need to look like a powerful human. I'm just doing that for fun. All right, so you can see that uh, it's very much like working with clay. If I hold shift, then it's going to do the opposite, okay? Holding shift will reverse whatever I'm doing. So that's going to actually pull it down, whereas without holding shift, I'm pulling it up. See the difference? Um, and you can experiment with some of these other things, like uh, the grab tool could be useful. Uh, maybe I want to make these ears. Oops. I don't think my um, X mirroring is working quite correctly. Let me go back to object mode and set origin again. Okay. Yeah, something's not working quite right. Okay, the grab tool is kind of funky. You can, you know, if you want to give your alien some spikes or something. Okay, so it's really up to you guys how you want to do this. Um, as far as adding eyes and that kind of thing, I recommend you add those as separate objects. So we'd go back to object mode. You know, we can add a sphere, for instance. All right, so the eyes, actually what you could do is add an eye socket. That's actually a good idea. Let's go up here. Okay, I got to bring up the strength of my brush a bit. No, I need something stronger. Let's try this one. I'm having trouble getting the head for some reason. I'm trying to bring. Oh. Anyways, you guys can figure that out. <laughs> um, so, what I'd recommend is having the eyes as separate objects. Okay, then you can color them differently. 
as well as if you have any horns or teeth and stuff, um, it might actually be easier to make them separate objects. And uh, hopefully your alien looks better than mine. This was just a very quick little example. Um, when you're doing your modeling initially in edit mode, you could use a source image to get the, the right proportions and whatnot. Okay? So I'll, I'll go over the uh, text string at another time, but hopefully this will get you guys started on the right foot.